Hi, I'm Jack from Gately Academy, and in this lesson we're going to talk about the Wetlands Protection Act in Massachusetts and the Rivers Protection Act in Massachusetts. The Wetlands Protection Act uh, was passed in 1961, and the Rivers Protection Act, which is actually technically an amendment to the original Wetlands Protection Act, was passed in 1996. Let's take the Wetlands Protection Act first. Okay, so with the Wetlands Protection Act, there's this thing called a wetland resource area. You and I might call it a swamp, but uh, or something like that, but it's technically called a wetlands resource area. And this is a very important uh, resource area for wildlife of all sorts, both plants and animal, bird, you name it. And that is protected under the Wetlands Protection Act, that wetland area, plus a 100 foot additional buffer zone beyond that swamp or wetland resource area. So not only the wetland resource area, but a 100 foot buffer beyond that. And in that area, any construction, any landscaping, any site work is prohibited unless you first receive approval from the local conservation commission or in lieu of that, the Department of Environmental Protection. So when I say site work, I mean regrading. When I say landscaping, that would be either planting or removal of vegetation, anything like that. You cannot touch this area effectively without seeking Conservation Commission approval first at your local city or town. For the Rivers Protection Act, it establishes a river or of any flowing water that moves from one body of water to the other on a yearly basis. And then it creates a 20 foot area, a 200 foot area of protection on either side of that river or stream, as the case may be, from the high water mark of the river. So you have the high water mark here, and then you have an additional 200 feet from that high water mark on each side. And this is considered the riverfront area. Now, development is not prohibited in that area. However, all development projects should be located outside of the riverfront area if there's any practical alternative to locating them inside the riverfront area. Now, I just want to make a quick point here that in some urban areas, in some urban areas, and you're probably not going to get an exam question on this, but on some urban areas, this 200 foot protection area is actually 25 feet in some urban areas. So just a point of reference there. I don't think you'll actually get an exam question on that, but it's not a bad thing to know. In some urban areas, it's down to 25 feet instead of the 200. Um, but in any regard, my general recommendation to you as a real estate professional is that whenever there's a wetland or a river of any consequence or any suspicion of a wetland or a river, that you should move with extreme caution um, before recommending uh, that anything could be built there or before you take any steps before consulting the local conservation commission. 